Good day, dear viewers. Thanks for staying tuned to the midday edition of the news. We take you to the Bui Division in the restive northwest region of the country, where inhabitants of the Nsol land are still living with uncertainty as their phone has spent more than three days in the hands of his abductors. Fon Sem Binglo II, who is the highest traditional authority in the Nsol land, is under the captivity and interrogation of people who identify themselves as separatist fighters. Villagers have stated that the kidnap of the phone is a desecration of the land and indicate a sign of bad luck to the people. The phone was kidnapped alongside Christian Cardinal Tumi and also some notables in the palace, but the cardinal was released shortly after due to ill health. The incident happened while the phone von Sem Binglo II was returning to his palace after spending months out of the division due to the insecurity plaguing the region. On November 6, 2020, the traditional ruler of Liu La Malale, His Majesty Molinga Francis Nango was murdered by unidentified gunmen at his palace. The palace was burnt down to ashes while his remains kept at the Boya Regional Hospital. His Majesty Molinga is noted to be the second traditional ruler that has been murdered with the wake of the crisis in the English-speaking regions. The first being Chief Banden J. Williams of Lisoka Muliwe village. The Fako chiefs have condemned the attack of the palace and culture which is the sacred body of the people in the locality, even though they say no group has taken responsibility of the act. Iconic striker Samuel Eto has been hospitalized with head injuries after involved, being involved in a car crash on Sunday morning while returning from a wedding in the west region of the country. The Samuel Eto car crash occurred in the Kong Samba littoral region of Cameroon where the striker was returning from the western region of the country. According to reports, the accident happened when his car was hit by a bus. Although the car bore the brunt of the damage, Samuel Eto was rushed to the hospital where multiple publications revealed that the striker is doing well under observation. France Football disclosed earlier that while the striker's condition is set to be stable, he will undergo further examinations at the hospital. Reports from the scene and hospital also indicate that no lives were lost in the incident. The 39-year-old football legend was returning from the wedding of the daughter of Sylvester Ngushinge, owner of Congelcan SA. African leaders uh, around the country have congratulated U.S. President-elect Joe Biden on his victory, expressing hope that ties will be restored between the continent and the, U the U.S. following the rule of President Donald Trump. The African Union Commission's chairperson, Musa Faki Mahamat, said on Twitter that he looked forward to a new, stronger U.S.-African relationship based on mutual respect. According to the head of state, Paul Bia, he has expressed his desire to work with the president-elect of the United States of America, Joe Biden, in order to strengthen ties between Cameron and the United States of America. Cameron's president, Paul Bia, is amongst world leaders who have already congratulated Joe Biden and looking forward for a strong relationship between both nations. Mr. President-elect Joe Biden, I am delighted to extend my sincere congratulations and wishes of success in the discharge of your duties. I assure you of my readiness to strengthen the excellent relationship of friendship between our countries, President Paul Bia said in a message on his Twitter handle. Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari, South Africa's Cyril Ramaphosa, and Zimbabwe's Emerson Mangagwa leaders are not left out in extending their big congratulations to the president-elect Joe Biden. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmad has replaced his army chief, the head of intelligence, and the foreign minister on Sunday as the conflict with the northern Tigray regions escalates. Abi's office said in a statement that Deputy Prime Minister Demeke Mekone had been appointed Foreign Minister while Deputy Army Chief Bihanu Jula was promoted to Army Chief of Staff. 
Tirune, who was president of the Amhara region, was appointed as the new intelligence chief. The prime minister did not explain the move, but on Sunday, he accused the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, an ethnic faction in the north of the country, preparing for war with the federal government since 2018. Tension rose with the TV region on Wednesday after the prime minister accused the TPLF of an attack on federal troops. The federal army is continuing its offensive on its area and it feared the fighting could spark civil war. Communication systems in the Tigri region have been shut down since Wednesday, making it difficult to confirm reports of violence in the country. Dear viewers, thanks once more for tuning in. Another edition comes up at 7 p.m. Stay tuned and have a good day.